Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, we got some fun stuff today. We got uh, FTR Logging put out their new equipment. I think you probably saw a few videos back. I did the little preview of the version 5 equipment. We've got that to play with. But I've also found something else that's interesting. I've been looking for one of these for a while. Finally found one that works pretty good. I'll show it to you just here in a second. Find it. Okay, so I found this little thing, basically a, uh, well, it, it functions as a stump grinder. I'm not really sure what else it does. I saw somebody, looks like they were plowing some fields or something with it. I don't know. It's crazy. But anyway, if I, I'm going to go ahead and buy this. We've got enough money. Go ahead and get it. Now the next question is going to be, do we have anything to run it? So, see if I can. I don't know if uh, my tractor front yeah it's got a it's got a PTO on the front okay so let's uh let's real quick go ahead and drive this down there now first of all we're going to get rid of front loader attachment see if we can't figure out a way to park this that attack Out attached. Drop that first. If I'll raise it all the way up. Is it going to attach in the front? Maybe. Try that. We'll, we'll give it a try anyway. Then, uh, well, as you can see here before I take off, there's the new FTR log and skitter. There's the processor and grapple loader. All those are new. Even the trailer log truck there is new. Tell a bunch I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's somewhere. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe around there on the other job site we're about to, or other landing we're about to move to. But real quick, let's drive this down here and see if this thing's going to let us. Oh, I need to fill up my gas tank while I'm at it. My fuel tank's low. But anyway, th so this is uh, lighting stuff here. We've got some new equipment. I haven't even had a chance to play right much with the version 5 stuff. i got it. On site, but I haven't actually used it. I did mess with the processor just a little bit the other day, just to kind of see how it worked, and it seemed to be pretty good. It seemed to be a little bit fast on the controls, though, so I'm going to adjust my sensitivity just a little bit. I don't even know if this tractor is going to be powerful enough to use this implement. See when we get down here if it even lets us attach it and turn it on. <coughs> you know this this front attacher might not come off. Remember if you buy a tractor with the front no, I guess, no that was a separate item. I had to buy the arm separate. Not really sure why it's not letting us unattach it. I guess I should have went ahead and uh, got the tractor down here before we started all this, but we're almost there. Yeah, I hope there's no performance issues in this video. I'm actually uploading the uh, high-speed login part 2 video right now as I'm recording this. Shouldn't cause a problem. My frame rate looks pretty good. Move. See what we what we can do with this. May not let us attach it. I don't know. Do it. 
Yeah, look at there. Okay, good. So look, take a look at this thing. I mean, it's got uh, looks like a plow that you can does that. Some kind of combination allowed me to lower that uh, plow looking thing, but we don't even need it, so there's no sense in. Uh, we will probably need to lower that. And that's the field, I guess. Get the wood chips from flying everywhere. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to turn this thing on. Let's see what happens. Lowers it. Oh, uh, you know what? This this tractor may not have enough horsepower to even power this thing. I'm hitting the right button to turn it on. Yeah, efficient power. I was afraid of that. Okay, well, we will have to. Let's see. You know what I may do? Let's let's try this. I'll park this uh, fuel tank right over here. I can pick it up later. Hey, I'm going to sell this tractor because I've got something else to sell. Sell that. We'll keep the front loader attachment. We, we might need that. the John Deere skidder. I don't need that anymore. I, 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 I played around a little bit with the FTR logins skidder, and I think I kind of like that now. And we'll work on it like that better. Although I couldn't get the front blade to work, but I'll get that figured out. Go ahead and sell that. 143,000. So, if I remember correctly, we need to uh, sell us. Oh, well, yeah, there it is. Okay, 280 horsepower. I may have to sell some wood chips or sell some logs or something, but we'll look at the tractor. enough money and think some of the mods I've got. Well, that tractor right there would run. Maybe I bought a engine or something for it. There's two fifty. So you I was testing it out in the Game save. Well, we can probably buy that fence right there. Bunch more money. Okay, well. So anyway, we'll get this stump cutter going at some point. We've got it, so we'll have it, and then we get all this stuff too. So anyway, let's get back to doing some forestry real quick. And yeah, I've already got a few logs pulled up there, and more over here just just <clears throat> randomly dropped around and. Oh, there's our fellow, new fellow buncher. Move it over here by the loop so we can get started cutting over here. I think we got enough for a load. I tell you what, let's go ahead and get this sucker loaded up. Get that get that money going. Yeah, so FTR login re reworked these claws on this. Off we go. I have to adjust my sensitivity settings and go to key because that's really short. Definitely got ideal. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is definitely kind of jerky. I've got to make some adjustments for the key settings to adjust that sensitivity because I'm a bit. It, the the opening is fine the pretty smooth closing is pretty smooth too but raising it believe we're also still under a uh, great demand at the sawmill, so we're getting some nice prices. Real quick. Yeah, see, we're still under some good prices, $49. Should be able to get the rest of the sink up to. He's on here. Look. Maybe a couple more. Okay, I'm going to give Joy to Key, I mean, uh, not Joy to Key, Course Play. I'm going to give Course Play a, a try here. we got a pretty good load. And it makes me nervous uh, driving that, but I think it be okay. We'll give it a go. Okay, so let's, see, let's hop in the skitter. Not want to stay level. There we go. Okay. My uh, spotters on joysticks. Issues here, but. Uh, all right. There we go. Now we're now we're in business. I like this. Uh, the big wide grapple on the skitter. That's for sure. We, we've been cleaning up a bunch around here. I just went around and picked up a bunch of these little small trees. See if we can find anything to get. 
fill some stuff back over here. We won't worry about these small trees right now. All too good. Old truck should be back here in Stop this horse player out for honey. Oops. All right, climb back up. I really do like this uh, Western Star truck. It's the uh, Camera is a bit odd, but uh, other than that, it's a truck. Weird that that processor disappears. Like that all, well, all of his new FTR's new equipment it disappears until you get in a certain range. Do it. enough even for half a look. Got about a half a look. And the only thing I think that's lacking on this skitter is the sound. It doesn't sound like a skitter tractor. Does work a lot better than the previous version. Kind of, you have to kind of watch the grapple and squeeze down too much. Start doing some weird stuff, especially with these big trees. We, we may have enough for another load right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, park this hitter over here somewhere. Yeah, the, the odd thing I think about this skitter is I haven't figured out the front blade yet. Normally I would hit uh, my right bumper button and stick. 
combination. Now, on the keyboard, they said to hit either 6 or 9. If I hit 6, the lights come on. But I must have uh, remapped that something else in the game settings. So I'll have to check that later after we're done here. with this new processor now. I did notice that the controls are a bit more sensitive than the version, so I'm careful with Definitely did not want that. Okay, we got some weird stuff going on here. Pretty crazy. I think there was some discussion about when your logs are on the hill or something. This is, this is very, very, oh my goodness. Very, very. I'm going to be switching back to the version 4. This this is, I can't handle this. Up over here. Well, it destroyed half of my landing. Try this again. That one bit. Doesn't seem to want to handle the big trees very well. Kind of taken away from it right at this point. Based on these smaller trees, they look okay. Add the tree. Now, I do know that uh, FDR suggested updating to version 2 maps well as the version 5 equipment, but I'm afraid to do that, I didn't want to lose my spot. 
fork I've done this morning. Not grab that tree. Smaller trees just don't grab. Yeah, I may be going back to the version 4 equipment, at least the processor. I can't grab the tree. Point in this. Grab that tree. Hmm. Ridiculous. Okay, well, uh, I guess I should have tested these out a little bit more before I started this video, but uh, things that I figured would be fixed and wouldn't have an issue with. And his map and his equipment, but they got some problems here. like it wants to grab it and it doesn't. Hmm. Went for that. Okay, let's see what we can do with getting this uh over with. Kind of striking out this video. Couldn't I didn't have my factor wasn't powerful enough to use all our stump grinder I found problems with equipment. I think it's just these trees. I said he reworked the trees. Updated map. Dared to update it because I didn't want to lose my spot where I was trees cut and Getting the turn. Twist and butter wants to twist around whenever I twist the joystick and then
don't have enough of a load in the grapple. To nice grip on it. As far as it Away. Well, you know, I, I gotta say, uh, these grapples doesn't seem to open wide enough for me. Can't get a good, too many right there. That's still a problem. And, you know, I, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's me or if it's. Uh, Sensitivity is not right, but something I just don't. Well, bittery. Well, I apologize for all this uh, craziness here. Uh, should have tested out this equipment went better with this version of the map. I, I do know that he says something about updating to the uh, latest map, and I, I, I was like I said, I was here to do that. But it a little better. Little logs. Oh, I think I got it straightened out. Those over there. Have them over. Yeah, you know, I, I think I probably am going to switch back to the version 4 processor. There was nothing wrong with it. Uh, it worked just fine. The uh, new one apparently better suited for, appears to be better suited for the, the newer trees that he has put on the updated version of the maps. Not gonna, you know, if, if I eventually do switch over to one of the other newer versions of the whenever he comes out with Emerald Valley I'm switching not switching but 
starting a job on that one. At that point, till then, I think I'm going to stick with this map. Unless I hear otherwise that upgrading to the new version will not lose my, lose my spot. I think that's yeah, I did not grapple closed a little bit more. You have to find that sweet spot where to grab it. Out of here. Hello, get out of here. Okay. Well, okay, so we've uh, discovered a few things here. Uh, number one, uh, you need to probably switch back to the version 4 processor because it just will not, absolutely will not pick up that three right there. I don't understand that. And, um, then just some things on my joy to key but other than that i think we're okay be okay at this new skitter I, I like it i'll have to try to figure out why the blade's not working though yep. i guess i'll have to reposition all my equipment that i destroyed with that one log <laughs> well anyway We'll try to get things straightened out for next time. Hopefully things will run a little bit smoother. But uh, until then, this is Jonathan logging on Pacific Inlet. See you next time. <laughs>